How's it going, people? Well, been neglecting my DNC. Got all hung up on the Christian Y'all pages. Which amused me. I try a little lemon shock top. I, I've had this before, but it was orange. Uh, I've tried the lemon and spice. Ooh, pale. Almost the color of a lemon. Mm -hmm. Sexy. Mm, crisp and clean tasting. All right, where are the fuck? Section 51 of the DNC. Revelation given through Joseph Smith the Prophet at Thompson, Ohio, May 1831. At this time, the saints migrating from the state of New York began to arrive in Ohio like they were told to. And it became necessary to make definite arrangements for their settlement. As this undertaking belonged particularly to the bishop's office, Bishop Edward Partridge sought instruction on the matter, and the prophet inquired of the Lord Uh, see History of the Church, Volume 1, page 173. All right. Provision made for the allotment of property. Uh, to the immigrant members, care and proper use of monies and other possessions gathering place in Ohio consecrated to the church for a little season only. Just like this beer, seasonal. <sighs> One. Hearken unto me, saith the Lord your God. And I will speak unto my servant Edward Partridge, and give unto him directions. Uh, for it must needs be that he receive directions how to organize this people. For it must needs be that they be organized according to my laws. If otherwise, according to my laws, if, oh wait, if otherwise, they will be cut off. Three. Wherefore, let my servant Edward Partridge and those whom he has chosen and whom I am well pleased appoint unto this people their portions, every man equal, according to his family. Sounds like socialism. Do the teabaggers know about this? <laughs> yeah. I understand teabagging is uh, there's another definition for that. You won't find it in the dictionary either. Uh. Uh, okay. Yeah, according to his family, according to his circumstances and his wants and needs. Shades of Axe. Shades of Socialism. Ooh, scary. Four. And let my servant, Edward Partridge, no relation to Danny Partridge, um, when he shall appoint a man his position, 
give unto him a writing that shall secure unto him his portion, that he shall hold it, even this right and this inheritance in the church until he transgresses and it is not accounted worthy by the voice of the church. According to the laws and covenants of the church. To belong to the church. So you stop going to church, you lose all your possessions, I guess. At least they don't put you in stocks. Alright, five. And if he shall transgress and is not counted worthy to belong to the church, he shall have not have power to claim that portion which he was consecrated unto the bishop. For the poor and the needy of my church, therefore he shall not retain the gift, but shall only have claim on that portion that is divided unto him. Okay. Six. And thus all things shall be made sure according to the laws of the land. There we go. Seven. And let that which belongs to this people be appointed unto this people. Eight, and the money which is left unto this people, let them be an agent appointed unto this people to take the money to provide food and raiment. Kind of like St. Peter, you know? Just don't piss him off. You don't want to piss off Peter. People drop dead when Peter's pissed. So. But that's from Acts. You should read it. It's really... Sounds more like a double homicide to me, you know, where he's saying, wait a minute, uh, is it, did you give us all your stuff? You didn't hold anything back? <laughs> you were lying to God. Drop dead. Yeah. All right. Oh. How about this? Divine bovine. Yes. Sacred cow jerky. It's heavenly, and it's going to get raptured very soon at the munchies. Uh, eight, and the money which is left unto this people, let it... Yeah, I got rid of that already. All right. Nine, and let every man deal honestly and be alike among this people and receive alike, that ye may be one, even as I have commanded you. 10. And let that which be belongeth to this people not be taken and given unto another church, one of those fake ones, probably where all the fake spirits hang out. Eleven. Wherefore, if another church would receive money of this church, let them pray unto this wait, let them pay unto this church again according as they shall agree. Twelve. And this shall be done through the bishop or the agent, which shall be appointed by the voice of the church. 13. And again, let the bishop appoint a storehouse under the church, and let all things both in money and in meat, which are more than is needful for the wants of this people, be kept in the hands of the bishop. You know, the fat guy.
<sighs> 14. And let him also reserve unto himself for his own wants and for the wants of his family, which is going to be big. And he shall be employed in doing this business. 15. And thus I grant unto this people a privilege of organizing themselves according to my laws. 16. And I consecrate unto them this land for a little season, just a little one, until I, the Lord, shall provide for them otherwise, and command them to go hence. 17. And the hour and the day is not given unto them, wherefore let them act upon this land as for years, and this shall turn them, turn unto them for their good. Okay? Eighteen. Behold, this shall be an example unto my servant Edward Partridge in other places in all churches. 19. And whoso is, whoso is found a faithful, a just, and a wise steward shall enter into the joy of his Lord and shall inherit eternal life. 20. Verily, I say unto you, I am Jesus Christ. I mean, not really. But, eh, not really. Um, who cometh quickly? Sorry about that. I'm sensitive. <laughs> um, in an hour. Well, that's not so bad. That's pretty damn good, actually. That's phenomenal. <laughs> Must be talking about something else. <laughs> Who cometh quickly? In an hour you think not. Even so, amen. That's it for 51, and it wasn't quite satisfying enough. I might do another one after this. Uh, so let me know if you learned anything, and what that might might have been. Um, this is really nice beer. I learned I learned that much. So stay tuned or peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. I'm gonna have another section of this instead. But I'm gonna have a wonderful bit of jerked divine cow. <laughs> <laughs>